Hello, welcome everyone uh, to our about, uh, Today we're going to talk about these technologies helping call centers to incre increase revenue. So my name is Baran, I'm uh, from the marketing team uh, at Sestec. Let me introduce our uh, speakers today. Uh, we have Mr. Yilmaz, uh, he's the pre-sales and solution consultant from uh, Sestec. And we have our uh, distinguished guests from the Signa uh, finance team, Mr. Kantar, Mr. Shahin, and Ms. Yasek. So thank you everybody for joining uh, today's webinar. So uh, let me start with the old saying that call centers are no longer cost centers, but revenue centers. But I'm not gonna make that joke. Uh, so actually let's start from the, uh, from the end. What, are, what is the pain point today? Uh, what is the target in call centers? We all agree that uh, today call centers have this enormous pressure of uh, increasing uh, effectiveness and generating more revenue. We all agree on that. So we're just gonna go right in and dive into details how technology can help call centers just to do that. So let me share my screen. We're gonna uh, follow an agenda and a, a presentation. So let's go through the agenda very quickly. Uh, Mr. Uh, Yilmaz is gonna share with us some information about the, this current situation we just mentioned, this pressure on call centers, how to increase effectiveness and uh, revenue. Uh, he's gonna give details about the technologies, how these technologies work and uh, its capabilities. Uh, then we will be giving the uh, the mic to the uh, Signa finance team and they're going to walk us through how they implemented this technology and achieved these uh, magnificent results, uh, double digits increase in performance, effectiveness and uh, revenue. So without further ado, uh, I'm giving the uh, mic to Mr. Yilmaz. Uh, welcome everyone again. So as Baran mentioned, uh, this is a competitive world and even if you have the best product, it's so important to be also best in pre-sales and after-sales services as well because we live in a world where the customers have almost infinite options. So it's so easy to change any brand that you're using. For example, you go to a technology store and you see a lot of same products uh, with very similar prices from different brands. but maybe the best technical service can be the major factor with your choice and also the customer behaviors have also changed and they are uh, they are more unforgiving than ever so the companies are really on a thin ice nowadays and this thin ice can be broken with a single mistake that can lead you to lose your customer so in the next slide we can see how the customer behaviors uh, have changed during time to an unforgiving state so uh, as you see here uh, one out of two customers who had a single negative experience with a brand has told that they will never do that do business with that company again uh, and when you go on a call, uh, smaller group a call center basis uh, the customers are uh, the numbers are worse because when you don't see who you are dealing with on the phone and if you give them a negative experience the reactions are uh, uh, reactions are becoming worse and they are more likely to leave you uh, because of that you must be very constructive very positive in your call centers and you must be very helpful to your customers and once you do the customers can become easily happy and another research shows that 68 of the customers stated their experience as positive when you follow a uh, constructive and a positive path so uh, when you make your customers unhappy, they are tend to leave. We know that. And every business is experiencing this loss year by year. And when you go to the next slide, you will see that it costs companies uh, $75 billion per year uh, for the customer churn issues. And when we look at the main reasons why, you can see the main motive uh, in these reasons are that the customer wants to feel valuable while contacting you. And when you see the total loss, the $75 billion uh, here, uh, you may say the customers may be right. 
So they want to feel appreciated when they contact you and they want to get the right answers from the right person to their uh, problems. They want a simple way to their solutions. They want uh, uh, intimate, kind, helpful communication with the, uh, with the agents they are talking with. And they don't want to be passed around uh, to reach to the solutions. They don't want to be put on hold uh, very long. These are actually, uh, maybe these can be maybe actually simple uh, solutions to obtain a better customer service but all the companies are actually asking the same question what should we do how should we do and the answer lies uh, in the voice of your customer if you try to listen really listen your customers uh, you can find the solution to how to give a better customer service and to do that uh, when you have millions of hours of call recording in your call centers, which is not so visible to you. And if you don't want to search for a needle in a haystack, where that's where the speech analytics enter the stage. So speech analytics converts all of your call center interactions, which are generally phone interactions between your customers and agents into text. It also analyzes emotional content and conversational parameters and gives you the opportunity to make analysis uh, with that data. And it is not a big, uh, it is not a new solution actually. Uh, a lot of companies are using this technology uh, for over the years and uh, there are a lot of customers who had uh, got uh, valuable benefits from this technology. And uh, so Sorry, I think to interrupt. Uh, we got a problem mm -hmm. with the, uh, the presentation, so let me in. So yes, let's talk about now, uh, can you repeat uh, about speech analytics? All right. uh, what uh, the terminology? All right. Uh, can you mute your mic, please? Uh, so speech and when a call happens in the call center, speech analytics first converts this recording into visible data, visible and searchable data. Uh, it converts the call into text makes emotional tagging, categories the call, calculates the uh, conversational and emotional parameters like silence uh, or interruption of agents or block speaking or talk speed, etc. And it gives you a web interface that you can search, topicalize and make root cause analysis or compare your calls or agents uh, in the system. So uh, with, the, with all these uh, help, that you get from speech analytics, uh, you will have to have the opportunity to take action with the findings that you have ex explored. And we have said that it's not a new solution. So uh, the speech analytics market uh, is growing year by year. And according to the DMG Consulting, the speech analytics market will grow 10% uh, this year and 10% in the consecutive uh, two years in the speech analytics market. So uh, there are a lot of things that you can do with speech analytics. And uh, here is some of the things that you can do uh, with the speech analytics in the next slide. So you can search and make analysis with the system. So you can get deeper in conversation uh, and with this visible and searchable data, you can examine all the calls in your operations and it fully transcribes all these calls. So uh, it is very possible to uh, find, reach uh, all your interaction types uh, by just creating some queries or categories in the system. You can find the root cause analysis of specific interaction types. So for example, if you want to search for the answer, uh, why, I, why do I have uh, very long average talking times or why do I have uh, a lot of cancellation calls, uh, speech analytics gives you very valuable insights that you can look at, you can focus on and uh, to it, it, it will be more easier to take action with the findings that speech analytics gives you. And the other side of this, uh, uh, this world is the quality management systems. So normally 
uh, in traditional systems, you uh, evaluate and score random calls in your call center, and uh, that represents maybe fewer than 100% uh, of your total calls in the call center. So with speech analytics, with the help of speech analytics, you can choose which call type that which call type you want to evaluate or score per agent, and then gives you a more focused, a more targeted quality evaluation system uh, in your company, in your uh, operation. And the automated evaluation feature also helps you to evaluate and score all the calls of your agents by defining some rules in the system. And that gives you, again, uh, a total control of your operations by evaluating all the calls in the in your call center uh, the, the last and one of the most trending issues uh, nowadays uh, is the real-time speech analytics so all the all, a lot of customers ask what about taking action in real, real time so they ask me uh, what about uh, interfering the call while it's happening so in real-time speech analytics you can spot the words that you follow while the call is happening and when you spot these words, for example, when a customer uh, say, starts saying, I want to cancel my account, you can immediately uh, detect it while it's happening and take action on the call before it's too late. So with speech analytics, you can analyze all your customer to agent communications, get real time notifications, and you can understand the root causes behind customer issues. And you can optimize your call center by quality management system and uh, with, with the benefits of speech analytics. And you can ensure your operations are 100% efficient. And you can maximize customer satisfaction by understanding your customers better. Uh, with these three main focus points, uh, you can also win and you can also get benefits from speech analytics just like Signa Finance did. And now I will stop here and I will uh, give the mic to Gökhan to uh, explain us how they have managed uh, to get benefits from speech analytics. And saying that, uh, leaving the mic, I will really give the mic to Gökhan because we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> he couldn't connect to the system. So I will, I'm giving now the mic to Gökhan here. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for uh, and hello everyone. Uh, this is Gyokan speaking uh, and I'm the telemarketing sales development manager of Signa Finance. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, Signa Finance quickly. Uh, Signa Finance is a joint venture uh, company between Signa and QMB Finance Bank. Uh, and Signa is one of the biggest insurance companies uh, in the world. And uh, QMB Finance Bank is within top five uh, of private banking in Turkey. Uh, and another slide I want to explain our uh, team structure firstly okay the uh, the most common mistake is uh, buying the system speech analytics system and giving the full ownership to uh, QA or planning teams uh, and the most important thing is uh, creating a dedicated team uh, with a sales development perspective for the delivery of best results. This team brain uh, functions as two lobes. Uh, one lobe executes speech analytics system and the other manages change of behavior of uh, agents, TMRs. Uh, TMRs mean agents. Uh, so uh, checking the systematic findings, uh, giving instant uh, feedbacks, uh, expanding best practices and uh, uh, building up structured uh, trainings. So uh, the other slides, uh, key success factors and potential implementation areas. 
after we set up uh, a dedicated team, uh, the next step was to map the best implementation uh, for the targets, the best implementation areas for the targets. In our version, we decided to focus on uh, five implementation areas. Uh, and last year, our priority was the first three of those, sales enhancement, quality assurance, and fraud findings. Uh, and for the remaining areas, we need some uh, system uh, development and collaborative works. So uh, especially we want to use the system for data enrichment to improve the accuracy of propensity to buy models. Uh, you can imagine uh, you're talking with thousands of customers in a month uh, and you can ask them a lot of meaningful questions uh, for enriching the customer data and you can save all of these uh, conversations to a database and uh, next slide uh, you can see the top tier analysis and three phases of new sales improvement methodology uh, discovery diagnosis with the double diamond model and finally training and tracking phases which is most important uh, part Frankly, I had a five bullet concept and uh, we already bought the speech analytics system. Uh, on the other hand, I had no idea about how we could use uh, the system with the most efficient methods. Some of the steps uh, of this methodology already have been planned. Uh, however, this uh, system fruitfully triggers uh, the generation of brand new ideas. Hence, many new ideas came out spontaneously during our brainstorming uh, sessions. For example, we built a training according to top tier analysis after a month. And uh, when I was going to class uh, for the first training, uh, our training manager said to me, Gökhan, do you know that 98% uh, of your training will be forgotten in just one week? It was a big disappointment. And a brilliant idea came to me in just in time. Uh, I went to the class and I uh, and told uh, them, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's the first training of top tier analysis, and I'm very excited about the speech analytics findings. Hence, I'm going to take your promise about two specific areas that you will choose yourselves. Then my team will track you because we can track the phrase usage or per uh, word usage per hour uh, per agent metric uh, thanks to SESTEC speech analytics. Uh, the top tier analysis method applied for this project is specifically designed uh, by my sales development team for Signa Finance. Uh, most powerful aspects of these projects are uh, first, interpretation of big data to significant solutions by question storming and double diamond model. Secondly, to reinforce this training knowledge and increase the durability of forgetting curve by engaging promise from TMRs and giving them feedback and tracking their promised actions by an agile method. So, Emre, could you please uh, present this diagnosis uh, slides for us. Thank you, Gökhan. Uh, at the end of the process, we, we discovered the acoustical parameters cleverly showed to us the uh, importance of creating dialogue with customers. Also asking open-ended questions uh, were, found to, uh, were found to be effective for sales. Uh, so, we are advising to our uh, TMRs for asking guiding questions for building up the dialogue. Uh, and secondly, you can see some praise uh, example on the right side, uh, hence some effect uh, on customer, whereas some uh, other phrases blocked uh, the sales dialogue. Thank you.
Bir sonraki. Geldi mi? We are facing some technical difficulties while presenting the uh, PowerPoint slides. Tüm ekranını izin veriyor mu? Bakar mısın? Entire screen. Hello everyone. Uh, I am Iran from Sales Development Team of uh, Signa Finance Telemarketing. Uh, and as you can see in this slide, I'm going to talk about the results of our first trainings. As you can see, uh, the first group was the uh, group that was uh, trained about the top tier analysis. And the second group here is the control group with same success band compared to the train group. Our training group has increased uh, 35%, while the untrained group's uh, performance decreased 13%. I decided to expand all this knowledge to all our uh, 89 TMRs who are trained uh, in uh, both campaigns, in two campaigns. And the results were fantastic again. We had seen 25% performance improvement and 5,300 uh, thousand Turkish liras incremental GVP annually. And again, I will talk. I would like to talk another uh, implementation area of SESTEC speech analytics, such as quality assurance, automated QA. This was the second implementation area for us, uh, automated quality and assurance structure. I want to share the automated, uh, automated QA KPIs and uh, development on the results with you. There are four acoustical uh, parameters as new QA KPIs, KPIs and four script relevancy uh, KPIs, which are transformed from manual QA form. You can see the compared results between January and January 2018 and February 2019. And I want to highlight uh, the sum of the KPIs journey. Uh, from January till February, the overall TMR success of monotonicity and call silence, call silence rate are pretty good. And also 76 of the uh, TMR speed of speech is an indicator that uh, the remaining 24 needs on improve needs improvement over a slightly raising speed of speech. Then we achieve 98% success ratio on these parts. For creating more dialogue between customer and TMR, we need to ask more open-ended questions. So we created KPI uh, called customer speech rate for challenging this. 
And the improvement is pretty good. Again, as you can see, our customers started to engage in the dial uh, in the call more than it used to be. Well, we are still su suffering from the script relevancy KPI success for opening and closing metrics. For example, TMRs must follow uh, open and secret correctly, ask, uh, except asking about customers' well-being, such as, how are you? From our top-tier analysis, we had discovered that asking about customers' uh, well-being was, uh, was a thing that helped us to increase our sales. So we added this to our uh, automated QA uh, system as a QA KPI. For now, uh, not zero, but we are still trying to improve the secret relevancy KPIs. And we are hoping to achieve more success in these parts. And lastly, uh, the front findings, the common TMR tricks. Uh, there are three main fields, uh, main findings, which are not possible, which were not possible to determine before uh, using SESTEC speech analytics system. Uh, and these were three things, the silent calls, call hang up and cherry picking. For example, you are in a call and uh, you are replying uh, to the agent, to the TMR, and they pretend to not hear you. And uh, they end the call by saying the call phrase, uh, closing phrase or uh, within the three seconds TMR uh, presses the no reply button so uh, you can't even though you have replied the call the uh, call has ended and also lastly for silent calls where the TMR waits silently during the call without talking or doing anything we discovered these uh, TMR tricks and we gave written warnings to 44 TMRs in our first month. And after two months, we had almost zero findings in these parts. It almost decreased to zero mandates lost. And thank you for this. And our last slide, uh, our roadmap, uh, finally, uh, yeah, our plans and dreams. Uh, this year, uh, we're following our roadmap. Uh, hanging fruit of this year is predictive. Uh, both uh, Finance Bank and Signa Finance Analytic teams uh, conducted a detailed analysis for persistence improvements. Uh, as a result of this, a model which explains non-collection cancellations uh, could be built. However, no significant variable has been found for customer request cancellations, but we didn't give up. We started to work on a model which explains customer request cancellations with a collaboration with SESTEC. We combined all customer demographics and acoustical parameters of calls and speech to text data. The plan is making a prediction about customer request cancellations. Just after the sales calls, uh, if we know uh, who will cancel the, their policies, uh, we can make a predictive retention like offering a benefit or free assistance service, uh, etc. And another topic is real-time uh, script, uh, scripting for coaching the agents. We need to combine uh, customer segments and best objection handling techniques in a library for each customer. It can be possible in following couple of months, maybe. Uh, we need just some algorithms uh, and statistical models. Thank you for everyone. Is there any question? <laughs> Yes, thank you, uh, Signa Finance team. This was very helpful. Uh, actually, at the end, uh, hopefully we'll make another uh, session about uh, predictive analysis and, and real-time analytics. Uh, this was very useful.
So uh, actually, I have a question about. Let's go back to the, the 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 POC period. Can you give us some experiences? What did you live through? What stood out uh, for you in your uh, POC period? Uh, actually, we have managed a very efficient POC period with two vendors. Uh, then we have decided to work with SESTEC because of um, two or three main reasons. Uh, one, the first uh, reason uh, is the speech to text accuracy. The speech to text rec uh, accuracy rate of SESTEC. Uh, higher than the other vendor. It was almost uh, higher than 95%. Uh, and the other vendor score was approximately 80%, as I remember. Uh, and secondly, SESTEC has an automated quality uh, assurance module. Uh, if you determine the KPIs correctly, you can evaluate uh, all of the calls and you can create a uh, quality scorecard uh, for each agent. And uh, the last reason, of course, uh, SESTEC is the best vendor I have ever worked with, uh, actually. Uh, for example, if you have a reasonable uh, request about user interface or something different, it can be uh, developed on next up update. Uh, it's, it's amazing, actually. Okay. Thank you for these uh, valuable insights. Uh, and lastly, okay, we're going to wrap up. If you have any questions uh, for our speakers here, you can uh, uh, type uh, your uh, questions here. I have a, a summary question. So uh, I'm a call center uh, manager, uh, and I want to invest in these technologies. So can you give us some uh, key takeaways from this uh, webinar? What should I look into? What should I be concerned about? And what should I invest in? Can you uh, s summarize these into one or two uh, bullet points? Uh, OK. Uh, I think the most important approach is creating a dedicated team. Uh, as, I said, uh, as I said before, uh, the most common mistake is buying the system and giving the full ownership to create a create team or planning team. Uh, and. Uh, it's, it's the most valuable thing, uh, I think. And secondly, yes, diagnosis or analysis uh, phase is very important. Uh, however, the more important thing is tracking phase. We can track uh, the phrase or word usage per hour per agent uh, metric with SESTEC speech analytics. You can track the agents who apply their training knowledge during uh, their calls and who had minimum or no reference uh, from the from this uh, training knowledge uh, exactly. So you're saying we have to be very uh, confident that there is ownership within the company. First, we have to establish that. Uh, and lastly, you have to track everything that you invest in, track all the performances so that you have tangible results out of this uh, investments. Yes? Yeah. So uh, if it's all that we're going to mention today, thank you very much to our speakers. This was a very useful uh, webinar and hope to see you in our next webinar. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.